Hi, this is Todd, and today is Sunday, October 18th, and today we're going to talk about changing out the caterpillars of Red Spotted Purple's uh, Limenidus astyanix astyanix. Here we have a, a caterpillar that's on its perch. It's a second instar caterpillar, not quite yet to become set to go third. And we're just going to talk a little bit about handling limonitis caterpillars. One of the difficult things about handling admirals and viceroys is that they uh, use, like other caterpillar groups, a lot of silk to either soak themselves to the perch or soak themselves uh, to the leaves, as you see here. And so in order to uh, move these caterpillars, we want to make sure first that they're not set to molt. Over, over here we have four caterpillars that are set to molt. And uh, I'll try to give you a close-up shot of what that looks like uh, here, since this camera does not, the macro doesn't work so well. Anyway, to move the caterpillar um, off the plant, if it is not set to mold, what you want to do is take either forceps or tweezers and then grab the uh, back end of the caterpillar. Generally, it takes two hands, just a sec. Okay, I kind of grab that caterpillar with my tweezers. It's hanging by a thread. I wish I could have shown you, but I needed both hands uh, with my tweezers to take the caterpillar off gently. I started with the back end of the caterpillar, and then basically I just move it over here towards the leaf. And what I'm going to do is do my best to focus in on the leaf. There, what we did is we placed the caterpillar on the tip of the leaf. Um, it it uh, dangled by its thread, by um, by silk, and then it was able to attach itself. What it will do now is wander around before it starts to set up a, a new feeding station, uh, likely using a perch since it's still just a second instar. But basically, that's how you um, change out the caterpillars of, of admirals. I have here a, uh, what I call a bouquet of uh, sandbar willow, salix exigua, and over here. I need to get back and get some perspective. I've got a bouquet of some larger leaves, uh, cottonwood leaves, populus, uh, freemanii. These are new growth leaves. I'll put the third instars on them. And uh, usually by feeding a uh, fresh host of Sailor Casey, the red spotted purples, you'll uh, get large adults when they finally come out. But that's basically uh, a quick tutorial on how to um, change out the caterpillars, which is basically done every week. Okay, the last step was to put the bouquet of cottonwoods and willows in a glass terrarium. Um, as you can see here, we have a screen lid, but we also have sheets of glass on top of that lid, so it's basically 100% humidity setup. That's basically how I set up uh, caterpillars of admirals and viceroys. I wouldn't recommend it for any of the groups, but the willows and cottonwoods that support these caterpillars can dry out if the terrarium is more or less open. And so I, I close it off because, generally speaking, the larvae do not get sick due to their own fresh and 100% humidity, humidity type setup, whereas other varieties of butterflies would get uh, sick in that type of setup. So anyway, that's just a methodology of raising uh, admirals and viceroys uh, using cottonwoods and willows. Thanks.